Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and Cossacks 3. I am challenging myself to use no bayonet units. That means no 18th century musketeers or grenadiers against an impossible AI. I'm playing as Scotland, and my sword clansmen are making short work out of their diplomatic center grenadiers. However, I will not want for these guys to run into this uh, formation because that will not end well for my guys. They are pretty light armored, I think, or maybe they're pretty good armored. Anyway, I do not want to take open confrontation against formations of pikemen. That's not my thing. And of course, since uh, I'm playing in Scotland, I won't be going up to the 18th century either. That means that I have the Montgolfier upgrade available from the very uh, from the very start but it costs like twice as much as uh, for a European faction that doesn't or that can go up to the 18th century so I need 12,750 gold however I have my uh, stone production maxed out uh, upgrade wise so I get a lot of stone and so I just sold all of that in order to get this upgrade and also I want to be able to make another stable because I need a lot of cavalry, like a lot, a lot. Let's see, I need 6,400 gold for the next one. And there we go! What? They don't have that many troops. They do have artillery already though, and that makes me a bit nervous. My sword clansmen survived, and they have Siege Cossacks as well, fast cavalry units. And they have two barracks so far, they are playing as Switzerland. So they get 18th century musketeers, and they get cuirassiers, and they get 18th century dragoons, and all kinds of fun units. While I don't really get any more than I currently have. I get this upgrade as well and then I'm gonna build a wall around my city because uh, I need to be able to protect myself somehow. And also I will want those uh, these guys taken care of, pikemen, I don't know, I mean they are armored so generally they are a lot better, a lot stronger than uh, the units that I have because these guys are just running around in regular fabric cloth so yeah they are not that uh, strong on the defensive side but okay now I have an upgrade to um, make sure that I build a lot faster so now I will be building my wall and I will need that iron mine as well uh, if you're wondering, I am building like this so that, I mean, I don't connect using the uh, mountains because if I do, then the uh, peasants might might uh, run around it and end up on the wrong side of the wall and then there are, they are very easy targets to be captured. Wow, that's a big wall. I will be sending a lot more of my peasants to work on it though, and hopefully it will be done in a jiffy. And fortunately for me, those guys are not that fast, however the Sish Cossacks are. So I'll need to send these guys to, um, to destroy them as fast as possible. And I will be needing you guys to work on this section as well. Wow, I'm basically sending all of my peasants to just work on this wall, and it's a big one. But that at least means that I will be able to expand all the way back here without needing to worry about being um, surrounded or attacked from behind or anything like that. Okay. There we go, these guys will go, oh my god, they have upgraded to have writers defending their mines right now. Maybe because I've been harassing their mines quite a bit. However, I also need, look at that, 
They are working hard, or hardly working. On well, getting this wall built. Hopefully it's gonna be built in just a couple of minutes. Let's see, 6,400. I just realized that it might not be such a good idea to sell all of my stone when I have basically no peasants working on stone excavation. You know. Oh, they seem to be fighting against uh, some Cossacks. I will need you, be, need you to stand right there though, and they are making 18th century dragoons from the diplomatic centers, and they are not as strong as the real thing, fortunately. However, they are still, still really effective at mowing down sword clansmen. Okay, look at that, the wall is coming along nicely. still have a lot of idle peasants, I will be putting them on building this section of the wall. And uh, the good thing is that capturing Switzerland will at least give me a uh, possibility to create like armored pikemen and more musketeers and things like that. However, so far they have destroyed each and every one of the mines that I have captured. And we still need to find some way to um, to deal with this guy with these guys so I need to assemble my army and make sure that we stop them somewhere away from the city so that they won't be So that they won't be attacking, uh, mowing down my walls and my buildings with their uh, mortars or with their bombards. Which they will otherwise, and that's not going to be fun. Look at that. Really nice work, boys. And of course they still went around because I opened the gate. That's not good. But still, I mean, I see that there is no enemy nearby, so... Hopefully it's gonna work out well either way. Either way. And... Let's see... 6,000 was needed, right? There we go. 12,000. Oh, that's right. I've just built a new one, right? For 6,000. I have four stables and only two of them are active. It's a travesty. Let's see. I have some more uh, raiders ready. These guys were able to destroy this mine, and we'll be sending them to destroy this one as well. And you can see that all of their units are just circling back to capture or kill my sword clansmen. Which is what, most likely one reason why they haven't um, why they haven't attacked me that much, because I'm just constantly sending troops their way. Hopefully, I will be able to intercept them right here. There we go. Please, just turn around. This is not good. I mean, I had this great plan of building the wall so that they won't get on the outside. Yet, me being a stupid man as I am, opened a gate. But I mean, hopefully it's gonna result in the wall being built quicker, so let's just stay optimistic, shall we? And now I'm pop-capped as well. 
So I will be building some more houses. That's another reason why it's important to be able to capture the opponent when I'm playing as um, uh, as this kind of civilization that I need to be able to like build more population space for my economy but also for for my economy but also for my um, production of units of course look at that they all circle back and they are having quite the amounts of uh, musketeers right now and the cannons are just shredding up my clansmen clan swordsmen, sword clansmen but soon the wall will be finished and then I can send my guys back inside just need to build a bunch of gates everywhere to make sure that I always have the ability to run out and attack or defend. Oh, maybe it's not such a good idea to build a lot of gates because they seem to be a lot squishier than uh, the walls. You learn something new every day. So the integrity of the walls are a lot stronger than the ones of the uh, than the ones of the gatehouses. Okay, let's just see what kind of damage you guys can deal. 103 sword clansmen against like a couple hundred of pikemen, armored pikemen. Okay, the wall is coming along. That side is finished. And we are finished all the way over to this side. That's good. It's coming along quickly. That's great. And we will be assembling all of our troops at the same location and putting all of them into formation because I need all the armor and attack bonuses that I can that I can get. Now we got some more money. The next focus will be another, another 17th century barracks. 12,500. We're pretty soon there. Pretty soon. Rate of fire will of course be something that we need to upgrade fast. And we have two different upgrades of that for that. And then we have a lot of firepower upgrades that we need to get through. Okay, soon 12,500. Let's see, how are my boys, my boys doing down here? Not doing that well, it seems. They almost have time to swing their sword once or twice. But we do get some pikemen with us. That's good. I and mean, these guys are not even uh, fully upgraded. Too bad. But now, here we have some riders, some raiders. And I will not be choosing the movement attack because then they will attack these dragoons. I just want them to ride straight on by. These guys are most likely gonna die to them though. Hopefully we'll just get a couple of dragoons with us. And now we are able to build another 17th century barracks. So of course we of course we're just gonna pop it up as soon as possible. And we are starting to get a lot of idle peasants, that's most likely because they are uh, getting finished with a wall. But there is no more stone patch this way, is it? I would really like for the stone patches to be a bit more visible on the map. However, it doesn't seem like we're that fortunate, so we will just need to put it down here. 80 idle peasants putting all of them on uh, extracting stone hopefully that's gonna help out with the economy I, oh my god I 
Why do I have a hundred and sixty something idle peasants? Okay, all of you guys get in here and stand up in a straight line. And then we'll need to close this one because that's where all of them uh, came from. Oh, they actually got got through. Oh, they are starting to get with Kurazirs. I need to capture some peasants and I need to do it soon. But the uh, impossible AI won't let me. Let's see. You guys go straight for the Sish Cossacks because they are coming to capture my peasants. But I am executing all the peasants that I have which are on the wrong side of the gate, so, so to speak. There we go. And you will be working on stone. And I can see you guys really want to work on lumber, so of course, of course I will abide to that. And you will be working on wood right there. You will be working on building another town hall. And we will build it down here. And we will send them on stone on uh, wood excavation. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. Oh my goodness, we have mines! Yay! That reminds me, actually, I need to get this upgrade so I can see all the mines on the map. You will be attacking. Oh, they got, they are starting to make 18th century uh, musketeers, and I need to destroy uh, this army somehow as well. So this is the gate that was open. We need to uh, start making a bunch of cannons, please. There we go. So let's see if we are able to. destroy these guys doesn't seem to be any more mines in um, in my area however we have a couple up here a couple down here as well the issue is that they might be captured or destroyed however now these guys are turning back because I sent a bunch of writers raiders rather to attack and now, after these uh, these guys are out, and these guys are out as well, I will be closing uh, closing up that gate. Let's see, we got some more gold. We'll be upgrading the mines. It's getting really expensive to upgrade the mines, actually. And now we also have a lot of idle peasants all over the place. You can go work on that stone excavation point. And then we take a couple of you guys. And you will be protecting that storehouse. And also we'll need to send like some units down here. Just in case things take a bad turn. Okay. We have some musketeers, and we have some pikemen, and we have a frame gun. Let's see what kind of damage these guys can make. There we go. The raiders had no problem cutting down the uh, musketeers, fortunately. This always becomes a difficult part in the game when like everything in their city is just armies just soldiers all over the place these guys will be coming from the south now i'm starting to I'm trying to set up some kind of strategy right here i don't know why it's always there we go could it be because i had a cannon selected maybe Okay, they are split up right now. Hopefully my sword clansmen 
will be able to attack them from the rear if I stand my troops right here, put up my cavalry to hold one of the flanks, and then have my frame gun right there. And we are starting to get some cannons as well. That's good. That's really good. More lancers, however, not many enough to create a formation yet. I will try to like sneak around right here because that's the good thing with fast fast cavalry and also fast infantry that they are able to navigate around the regular armies and then I will send them straight into the fray and hopefully they will be able to capture at least some peasants so far not able to build another military building or town hall As soon as I get a peasant, if I even will, then I will try to make sure to uh, build a town, a Swiss town center. But so far, it doesn't seem like um, capturing peasants is is a possibility. However, this was an effective raid. Must say that. Okay, this was not good though. I completely missed that they attacked me. However, fortunately, it does seem like we survived it. Even though we could have survived with a lot fewer casualties. I didn't even know what the frame gun did right there. Doesn't suit and doesn't shoot very fast. I need to increase the rate of fire drastically. Didn't capture any cannons, I think. I don't think. Okay, now we need to reform the lines. Kill that howitzer. The lancers are good. However, I did lose a lot of other troops, so we will be sending these guys. Just take a bunch of them and march them straight down and then they will be replenishing the lines. Okay. I will be releasing that formation and creating a new one of 10. Dismissing that formation rather. Then I will create another cannon artillery formation of 10 to set up against it. Against the next attack. But we were able to defend against that, against one attack, so that's good. Let's see, 15,000, 62,000, 12,800. I think the next uh, thing we'll be aiming for is another castle. And there we go. And then we are actually able to create another stable as well, so of course we will. Of course we will. And I will be putting out a couple of... No, they will actually be going right there. And also I forgot that I got these mines that I will be upgrading. To get some more people into them. And this army will not be fun at all to run into, I'm gonna tell you that. I can make another formation of Lancers, that's good. And then we're just trying to replenish all of our formations as well as possible. Seems like we didn't bring enough troops to replenish all of the formations, unfortunately. But we, uh, we will just be sending more over to replenish all as they go. And the Sword Clansman will come around to go raiding this mine and this mine as long as this storehouse and then maybe just march straight in from the west. Maybe I should actually start making some uh, Bow Clansmen as well to start destroying some buildings. Really, 
I have a lot of coal. That's good. Let's see if we can just trade some coal for gold. There we go. And then I'll just upgrade the rate of fire and the fire ray and the fire power and everything like that. And now the mines will be filled and all of you will be sent down here. And maybe I will create another like another Scottish settlement or something like that down here. Let's see. There we go. Can we make some more formations? And if I have a third 17th century barracks, it might be a good idea to start recruiting out of that one as well. Genius. Just increase the fire rate. There we go, we got another 100 sword clansmen, so we'll be sending them to attack. You will be going, no, 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 no. no. I will actually use my raiders against uh, against the grenadiers because they are really effective. They won't be able to get like a volley off or something against uh, against the raiders. Now we'll start making bowmen as well in order to um, be able to destroy buildings. Since I can't make any grenadiers, and the cannons are slow as slow when it comes to uh, moving them all across the map. That's not an option. Here we go. And we still have room for like 200 units more. They are not using uh, the capacity of stone. Oh my god, this army is not gonna be fun. Those cannons are just gonna obliterate my troops. Straight up obliterate them. But I still need to take the battle like far out. So that they won't be... Um, so that they won't be targeting my walls or my mines or my buildings or anything like that. units are under attack, that's because we're attacking a mine. It would be really nice if I'm able to, they, you are shooting the wrong way man, if I'm able to capture a mine. However, with the impossible AI, doesn't knock on wood, doesn't look like uh, they are that keen on uh, having their peasants captured, was what I was gonna say. However, now we were able to capture them. So, starting to build some new town halls and then we're gonna kill them. Remember that even though I'm able to capture Switzerland right now, I will not be able to play, sorry, with any bayonet units. So no 18th century musketeers and no um, grenadiers or anything like that. Rather just moving along with our regular pikemen or 17th century musketeers or anything like that. Wow. These guys really went balls to the wall with uh, going after the grenadiers. Well, some damage is at least... They were at least able to make some damage. That's good. And so are the sword clansmen. Running in, raiding killing some peasants, killing some pikemen, just taking their their attention, basically. I mean, everything I'm doing right now is just a stall until they're gonna come with their armies, because then I'm gonna be toast. Let's see. Let's make some more formations, shall we? 
making some such small formations. I really need to like make bigger armies, make bigger formations. These guys are doing a, a stellar job right now. Wow. Can you imagine just like a hundred clansmen, clan swordsmen, sword clansmen? Are able to basically wipe out their entire city. So ironic if um, this challenge will be one of my shortest videos yet. Not the shortest, I think we had one shorter one when I played with... Um, uh, when I played with um, a bot on my team, an AI on my team, my Ukrainian friend. There we go. Start making some peasants. And then I will just be marching back my Scottish peasants to work all, to keep working over here. Wow, you really cleaned up right here. Look at that, they only have two, now they're down to zero points. I just need to destroy all of the mines and all of their peasant uh, recruitment buildings, basically, and then I'll have a victory. So you guys will be moving on to take out that mine. And you guys are doing a good work. You will be posted outside the barracks, so no musketeers will come and destroy my plants. Then you destroy that mine. We will not be able to destroy... Are you able to destroy these ones? I don't know. Hopefully. But so far... The Swiss population is coming along down here, that's good. And here we have another hundred clans, so sword clansmen. Yeah, that's basically what I anticipated, that they didn't have that much to stand up against this army. <clears throat> and also the cannon towers, of course. But that's what the bowmen will be will be for. There we go. Just keep upgrading mines everywhere possible. And also, we have some more Lancers, so we'll be creating a formation out of them. And also, we have some more Raiders, ready to raid. Fortunately, so we'll just be able to keep applying the pressure. And if you look at that, this uh, video is almost, is already a bit more than 30 minutes long. So I will be taking a short break right here. Things are coming along quite well. Playing against one impossible AI that doesn't seem to be that impossible right now. If I would be playing against a, um, a human player, I think that they wouldn't be turning their entire armies back to defend, but they would rather just keep breaking down upon me. So um, I don't think it would be as easy if I would play against uh, against an intermediate or moderate uh, human player, actually. But still, it's a lot of fun. It's always fun to play Scotland, a newer nation, with uh, some uh, unique units and unique buildings. Always a lot of fun. Still, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one.